Welcome back. I'm Dan Ball. You're watching One America News' special coverage of Election 2020. And before we get back to the crew here in our main studio, we've got a special guest. Our Caitlin Sinclair is live down in Florida with Governor DeSantis. Hey, Caitlin. Hey there, Dan. I promised you guys a special guest. And here we are with Governor Ron DeSantis. So, Governor, it seems that you are you have a better prediction uh, outcome than the pundits do. You have a better radar than the pundits because you accur accurately predicted the state and the Latino vote. Uh, what, what do we have to say right now? Well, this is a huge victory for the president. Uh, he won in 2016 by about 120,000 votes. He's going to win this one by probably 400,000 votes. That's a three plus percentage point victory. A lot of these polls had him losing anywhere from five to seven points. Um, but, you know, the fact that the networks haven't called this is just bewildering. They called Virginia as soon as the polls closed. Trump's overperforming there. They've had to retract it, except for Fox. Fox is keeping it. And yet Fox and some of these others won't call Florida. They're literally, if Biden won every vote outstanding, he could not win Florida. This is over. Book it. And let's move on. So how early did you call this, Governor? Well, I knew basically going into the election, uh, as we started to see Republicans turn out, we knew, I mean, we had a uh, 230 ballot vote advantage uh, once the thing was done. I'm sorry about that. Um, and so we knew that that was good. And I knew that independence would break for him today. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened. So we knew that he was going to win. The question was the margin. But what's ended up happening is we flipped two congressional seats held by Democrat incumbents, Republicans down in Miami-Dade County. Right. Uh, and we've also maintained control of the Florida Senate and the Florida legislature and even gained seats there. So across the board, this was huge Republican muscle in the state of Florida. And um, I think it bodes well for the president. But you know, look, they should call Florida. They should call Ohio. They should call North Carolina. These are all done deals, uh, Florida more than any. Right, right. Now, Governor, you bring up Miami-Dade County. What I notice uh, as a viewer here is back in 2016, Hillary Clinton won this by 334,000 votes at 8 p.m. President Trump had already surpassed that by over 100,000, and you actually accurately predicted that. Uh, first of all, I mean, are, are you a psychic? How do you know? How did you know all of this? But did anything surprise you about that? Well, the two things we really tried to do was, one, register more Republicans, and we did 200,000 more statewide than in 16. So our gap with Democrats is the closest it's ever been. And then the second big thing was improve in Miami-Dade County, because he lost by 30 points last time. If you can lose by just 20, that's 50, 60, 70,000 votes. He lost by about 10 or 12, which is a phenomenal improvement. He flipped over 100,000 votes just in Miami-Dade County alone. And I'll tell you, if you were at that rally in, in Miami-Dade on, I, I guess, Sunday night, <laughs> Monday morning, because it was about 1 in the morning, it was electric, uh, everyone was excited, and 75% of the people there uh, were Hispanic Americans. And so he won Hispanic in Miami-Dade County going away, and I think that's why he had such a good performance there. Now, I believe that Miami-Dade County is about 70 percent of that Latino Hispanic vote, and we have been driving home that message all day. You, of course, also echoed that sentiment that these Latino voters, these Hispanic voters, uh, they want a president who is more focused on things like the economy and less of a shutdown of uh, the state of Florida, which, of course, you know a lot about. Do you think that this was a reason uh, that we saw a lot of these voters uh, coming out to support President Trump? Well, I think Biden's support of lockdown, saying it's going to be a dark winner that he was shut down the country mm -hmm. worked against him in Florida. I mean, we have working class parents, Hispanic and not Hispanic, who are sending their kids to school. They don't want the school shut down. They don't want their job shut down. Mm -hmm. So it was a fundamental miscalculation for him to do that. And I would also say in Miami-Dade, there was improvement in some African-American precincts, too. Uh, and I think the president's getting a better percentage of African-Americans. So what he's doing is he's building really a multi-ethnic, multi-racial coalition built around America first principles. You know, these are people, regardless of race, that they love America. Uh, they want America to do well. Uh, they don't want this uh, warmed over leftism, pseudo Marxism that you see with Kamala Harris and these people. They just don't want that. So we have an opportunity with how far left the Democrats have gone uh, to continue to expand the tent. The president did that great tonight, and I think that's why he's going to win re-election nationally today.
Yeah, well, we hope you're right. And it looks like you are. Dan, you heard it here. Uh, the governor has already called the state of Florida. And like he just brought up, if the rally here in Miami a few days ago was any indication, uh, we should have taken it there. The, this is a red, uh, a red wave that we're already seeing. Back to you. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.